This is the shivers control. It's currently turned off right now. But the printer keeps track of every time it does a sample or transfer. Uh, we can set it to what to transfer at, what to burn, temperature burn at. These switches control the individual functions. It will sample every so often depending on the moisture content. If it's really wet, then it will uh, extend the time between samples. Once it starts getting drier, it shortens that time. And once it starts transferring, I think about every three minutes, it does another moisture test. And once it crosses the plateau of too high, it shuts everything back down. This is the low grain shutoff. Once the, there's a little pressure switch in here. Once the grain gets below this, it shuts the whole system off. This is the fan that feeds the dryer. Got a fan, got a burner, LP gas powered. The fan you hear is this little one over here. That grain bin is currently full of soybeans. Now inside the drying bin. Currently we have it turned off right now because for them to hook up to the new big bin, they have to, uh, well, probably are going to cut another opening in that tube that runs out. That's what transfers out. These sweeps on the other side run together. So when this thing starts, it pulls corn from the outside into the center not normally piled up like this, it's been shoveled up. This is what it would normally look like once you transfer it all out. <clears throat> when the system starts, pulls corn, runs it up the tube, moisture sensor is up there. If it's, then it will distribute it out the top, spreads it back around, recirculates. Once it's deemed dry, then that auger starts, starts transferring corn out until the corn is either completely empty or until it gets too moist. The pressure switch is right there. There. <laughs> that auger is what comes out and transfers to this bin here. This is a 36 foot bin. That motor up there is what runs it. And then there's another auger that runs over to that bin. I don't remember the size on that one. Now what they are probably going to do is originally we were going to raise it up and put a three-way into that. Now it sounds like they're going to put another downspout up there and then run it over to the big bin, which you can see back there. 